Well, during our last Make-A-Wish Miles Drive, we introduced you to Vicki. Yeah, you might remember her, 16-year-old from Minneapolis who wanted to go to space camp. Well, she got to go on her wish trip last summer, and we caught up with Vicki to hear all about it. It's like being on a roller coaster ride, except more faster and like, yeah, 10 G's on you. This moment, locked into an arrow trim, is the realization of a lifelong love of space. Ever since I was like five, ever since I saw like the first guy on the moon. At space camp, instructors sent Vicky through astronaut training, tasking her with mission simulations. I was supposed to be on the Orion project, which would be the first um, people going on to Mars. With a passion for science and robotics, this is Vicky in her element. But it's a long way from where her disease has often left her. You gain a ton of weight within a short amount of time. Um, with Vicky's case, she had gained weight 20 pounds with under two hours. Vicky has a blood disorder that causes rapid swelling called hereditary angioedema. It can pop up at any time without warning. And it did the day before she was supposed to fly to Alabama for her wish trip. As her mom, it kills me to watch my daughter when she's sick. And I can't do anything. But Vicki recovered quickly and made an on schedule launch. Oh my that God. smile and joy. I was repairing the satellite. My arm was too short to reach the other satellite to replace it. This wish trip was a gift for both Wish Kid and Wish Mom. I seen life brought back to my daughter. <laughs> um, seeing her so happy and proud of her, of all the things she has accomplished. So, so Vicky's really cool and she's, she's a very serious person. Mm -hmm. This is her passion. And so when they came to her and like, what do you want to do for a wish trip? A lot of kids will say like, oh, I want to go to Disneyland or, you know, I want to go to Hawaii. She wants a career in this field. So she basically treated the space camp wish kind of like a high level internship. She's smart. <laughs> yeah. And, and she was just trying to soak up everything she could from astronauts, from people at space camp at NASA. And she hopes to pursue that after. Did she ask for a lot of business cards? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm sure she got some emails. Yeah. With the condition that she has, I mean, so she gains weight so quickly. Is it painful what she goes through? Yeah, super painful. When Susan Elizabeth did the story on her last year, she described it as like a thousand knives oh, kind of stabbing her once yeah. this pops up and you know she's got the, the epi stress in the body yeah, sure. yeah she's got the epi pen to, to fight it off but you know sometimes that just doesn't do doesn't it always work yeah. in and out of the hospital i know she's fighting it recently as well so oh, i'm glad she was Stuff. feeling better to get to go yes. on the trip yeah really cool that you get to do that